find the pirate treasure! <clears throat> One fine day, Rexio decided to go to space. Um, no, no, not yet. Before that... One fine day, Rexio decided to go windsurfing. Uh, one cloudy day, that is. One, uh, rainy day, in fact. Okay, I'll be frank with you. It was raining cats and dogs that day. Honestly, now, he couldn't have picked a worse day to go windsurfing if he tried. Really should have just skipped to going to space, if you ask me. Well, you sure done screwed yourself, Pooch. Braving open seas and that kind of storm. Really? Anyway, how are you going to get yourself untangled now? We got land in sight, but surely you're not going to swim in shark-infested waters, right? The surfboard seems to be in one piece, at least. Too bad the sail has been torn to shreds. If you're going to the island, take me with you. I need to get to a phone pronto. I have the results for tonight's match. Good idea. We'll try to jury-rig something with the tattered remains of that sail. Two crossed sticks? Surely you're not preparing your own grave, are you? Either way, you should probably attach them to each other somehow. The octopus seems pleased to lend you a hand. Or eight. I have an inkling that attaching an anchor might not be the smartest course of action. Oh, I get it. Can I buzz in? You're building a kite, right? You want to go kite surfing now. Just don't forget to actually secure the frame to the sail. Now this is starting to look like a kite. Still needs a bridle. You know, the strings that connect the points to each other. Good. Now it needs a flying line to actually grab it by. Almost done, but it ain't a true kite without a tail. Splendid! We got a kite! It certainly is windy. Fingers crossed. Time to jump the shark! Woo! <clears throat> well, that was quite the adrenaline rush. Oh, what's that? Bottles don't just float around like that with paper inside. How do you plan to open that door without a key? Welcome, welcome, esteemed guest. I am Robinson Goto, and this is my companion, Frybird. What's that? You want to borrow my key to the jungle gate? Hmm. Well, how about this? I'll give it to you if you can help me catch my escaped geese. I'm afraid they might run off into the jungle and get eaten by jaguars or other animals. So, feel like trying your hand at catching my geese, are you? All right then, here we go. Oh, geese! My little geese! Come out wherever you are! Well done, well done. Feel free to borrow my key. Oh, and please leave the key on the hook by the door. Frybird will lock it back up after you leave. Hope he can manage that at the very least. Ugh. You found this in a bottle at the beach and don't know what it is? Show it to me from closer up, why don't you? I see. Something tells me it's written with invisible ink. If we had a fire, we would be able to reveal it, but unfortunately, Frybird isn't very good with fire. Let's see. Can't be that hard, surely. Oops. Oops. That didn't happen. You saw nothing. Oops. Let's see. 
can't be that hard, surely. Yes, now that looks like a proper treasure map if I've ever seen one. And I think there's something written there, too, in some strange language. Maybe Robinson knows something about it? Nice, nice. Show me what's written there. Hmm. It's written in mouse code. I only know a few basic words. Something, something, overboard. Something, something, treasure. And that's about all I can understand. You should ask the chieftain of the nearby chicken village to translate the text. He's a worldly rooster, been around more than you'd think. And he's fluent in mouse code. But hurry up. I think someone somewhere might be in need of help. Bye. Onwards. Today we interrupt the adventures of Rexio to bring you our regularly scheduled DRM control. You have been randomly selected to participate in the anti-piracy operation codenamed You Win It, You Keep It. Please input the password from the booklet. Unfortunately, this password is incorrect. Try again. Password accepted. Carry on and have fun. Solid start. The village is just a hop, a skip, and a jump away. The village is just a hop, a skip, and a jump away. Let's leave those snakes and crocodiles behind. The village is straight ahead. Hello. Wait, uh, what's going on here? Huh? Barrel Mount Hawkeye at your I service. I broke the capstone. All hands on deck. Again. Land on the first one. I think. Cheese God, we will say it with me, me mateys. We, we will. will. Me too. I'm, I'm a gonna move down. Eggs be back on the menu, boys. Build rats rule. Ready I'm a your cutlasses. Eggs be back me. on the menu, boys. Build rats rule. Mayhaps we should just run away. I'll never be able to defend the village from these pirates on my own. I never would have expected Aye. something Aye. like this from Captain Overboard. Oh, whoa, what should we do? Pirates! Mon Dieu. Time for the warm -up. I'll never be able to defend... Hmm? What was that? Why, yes, I do know mouse code. Bosun, can but, I, jump uh, into battle from a I shall help you translate your map, provided you help us defend our village against the pirate raid. Uh, Mais oui, you have my word. I'll be ready. Come on already. There's no time to waste. The pirates will not wait for us while we loiter. What should we do? What should we... Oh, these coconuts look like they pack a punch. All right, me build rats. Attack! Hooray! Let's go! Is it my turn? Ouch! Ow! There'd be a stink! Ouch! <laughs> Ooh, what the heck? Char Ow! Ooh, what Charge! Charge! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Captain never Decker! D Ow! <laughs> I'd rather take- I'ma wipe the deck with- Ouch! <laughs> Back all- Aye, sir, bosun, sir! Ow! Ow! What are you even- Is it my turn yet? Ouch! <laughs> Back all- Decker! Do your worst! Ow! <laughs> what- Aye, sir, bosun, sir! Ouch! <laughs> there be a- Decker! Do your worst! Ouch! <laughs> There'd be a s- I'ma wipe the deck with ya! Ouch! <laughs> I'ma wipe the deck with ya! 
Ouch! There be a son. Why don't you just take me umbrella? Ow! There be Decker, do your worst. Oops! Oh well, let's do the time spin and try harder next time. What should we do? What should we... Oh, these coconuts look like they pack a punch. All right, me bilge rats! Attack! Run! Let's go! Is it my turn yet? Maybe leave the cannon behind the... <laughs> I'ma wipe the deck with ya! Gunner, get to work! Out! Oh. Oh. Charge! I'll be gunning for it! Ouch! Oh. What are you in? Back already? Ouch! Back already? Charge! I'd charge! Ouch! What are you even? Is it my turn yet? Ouch! Hi, sir, bosun, sir! Ouch! Son, why don't you just. Ow! Captain never had a son. Why don't you just take me umbrella? You whippersnap. Ow! What are you even doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't we just go? Is it my turn yet? Ow! It. Well, what the heck so was hard. that? I'd rather take me chances with scurvy at this rate. Back in me day, we'd walk through rain and coconuts uphill both ways. Perfect. These pirates ain't coming back anytime soon. Not without hard hats, at least. Excellent work. They ran for the hills. Well, that's that then. I promised I'd help you translate the map. Show me what you have there. I see. Give me one moment. Bottle 272. Ahoy! Stop. I be Captain Overboard. Stop. I've fallen into the waves, yet I still draw breath. Stop. For three weeks, I have been staying alive on this wreck of a ship that they've been carrying, among other things. A shipment of bottles, paper, and invisible ink. Stop. Whatever happens to me, the treasure we were seeking must be found and donated to the Lonely Egg Orphanage. Stop. See Annex. Stop. I urge ye, find the treasure and contact me, loyal crew. Stop. They be proper lads. Stop. But they tend to be a wee rowdy without their captain to hold them in check. End of message. Hmm. That would explain why those ruffians attacked us out of the blue. They probably think their dear old captain drowned. Must have sent them into some sort of frenzy. Well, I reckon first and foremost you should try to find the treasure they came here for, then persuade the pirates to look for their captain. Probably. At least that's what the message said. How hard could it be? You know, I am quite the wordly rooster. I have been invited to many prestigious galas, although I have always managed to, uh, elude them. You know, I am quite... I am very proud of my little princess. Wouldn't you like to marry her? You would make a wonderful chieftain, and I would be free to do... other things. You know, I am quite the... I would love to... Well, go get a move on then. Bon chance. What do you want from me? Can't you see I'm in despair here? to me plead your case to her majesty no sp without special permission from her highness you shall not pass no strangers allowed i don't believe you should walk on this diving board for no real reason it could be dangerous
Well, go get a move on then. Bon chance. You need a permit for the temple? I'll give you a permit. But before I do that, I have a couple of tasks for you. First, the record of my favorite song broke. If you could figure out another way for me to listen to it, that would be swell. And your second task is pearls. I want you to fetch me all of the pearls in our bay. If you can do all this, you'll get your permit. Yes, it's exactly the same melody. But I can't. As a princess, just let it be played on some random bottles. I want my subjects to sing it to me every single day. That sounds about right. It's the same melody as on the princess's record. Now her subjects will be able to sing it to her themselves. Oh, you did it! How beautifully they sing to me! And here I was thinking all they could do is cackle all day. Keep walking! Keep walking! I will not be swayed! Time for a quick tip. Don't forget to resurface for air. the Keep size walking. of a hen's egg. Mind your business. Oh, the princess will lay an egg herself when she sees them. Please, accept this permit. You deserve it. With it, you may now visit our most sacred of grounds. Oh, and you can give the cheese guard a nibble if you want. See if you like the taste of it. Hey, uh, can you please get going already? I want to listen to the beautiful music. Keep walking! Keep walking! I see. You have a permit. In this case, you are most welcome to pass. Please, enjoy your visit. Welcome. Here you may bask in the glory of Jesus, our great cheese god, and eat of his body. In moderation, that is. Please take note that the temple is constructed entirely out of coconut milk cheese. Contrary to the common misconception, there is no such thing as bird milk, never mind rooster cheese, that it could be made out of. Regardless, there is nothing else quite like it in this whole universe. Do you really wish to enter the volcano caverns? I am afraid that not everyone is capable of confronting the dangers that await inside. For your own safety, you must first prove yourself to the cheese god by answering five consecutive riddles about the nature of our universe. Only he can open the gate, and should he judge you wise enough to survive the challenges within, the path ahead will open. Heavy as I may be, I do not drown. Who could I be? A hippo? A truck? A uh, good one. I have no legs, and yet I run. I have no arms, and yet I strike. Who might I be? A snake? Unfortunately, you are mistaken, but do not be dissuaded. Which of us is the heavier, two pounds of feathers or one pound of steel? Two pounds of feathers? A good one. We are small, pale, inhabit a cave, 
and shred everything that enters our home. Who are we? Hey, impressive. Many take years to figure that one out. Which of us is the heavier? Two pounds of steel or one pound of feathers? Two pounds of steel? Indeed, it is so. The colder it gets, the more layers I shed off. The warmer it gets, the more I put on me. Who am I? A tree? Impressive. Many take years to figure that one out. With my two openings, I sense everything, though I cannot sense myself. What am I? A nose? A uh, good one. The path is open to you. Our cheese god, master over the whole universe, has bore witness to your wisdom and granted you his blessing. Careful not to break your legs. And watch out for the spiders. This drawing on the wall looks like a map. A map of the underworld. I think it's worth memorizing. Bottle 272. Ahoy! Stop. I be Captain Overboard. Stop. I've fallen into the waves, yet I still draw breath. Stop. For three weeks I have been staying alive on this wreck of a ship that they've been carrying, among other things. A shipment of bottles, paper, and invisible ink. Stop. Whatever happens to me, the treasure we were seeking must be found and donated to the Lonely Egg Orphanage. Stop. See Annex. Stop. I urge ye, find the treasure, and contact me, loyal crew. Stop. They be proper lads. Stop. But they tend to be a wee rowdy without their captain to hold them in check. End of message. All right, then. Great job. But did you see that just now? What even was that back there? Traversed. Good. The exit is all caved in. Can we, um, blow it up somehow? 
Oh-ho! Now that's a cannon. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with it. Technology is powering this machine. What incomprehensible design! And we were so close! Ah, I see. It wasn't plugged in. Right. That's a lot of damage. Rock and stone! That's a lot of damage. Once more, onto the breach. Once more, onto the breach. That's a lot of damage. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Gone. Reduce to atoms. Gone. Reduce to... Gone. Reduce to... That's a lot of damage. We are through! I can't believe it! Give me a break! Uh, don't mind me! I'll just be, you know, yeah. I can't see nothing. Why did we not give it eye holes? So, uh, e come here often? Let's try this again. I already said the password, babe. Don't let me in already. Open sesame. The stubborn birds. Let's try this again. I already said. The password, babe! Open sesame! Don't let me in already! It's open birds! I can't! I can't take this anymore! Finally! We got the treasure! Well, no, it's not ours. It belongs to the pirates, or rather, to the Lonely Egg Orphanage. Let's get back on track. Now we just need to find the pirates and parley with them. Supposedly, they be proper lads, at least according to Captain Overboard. So it shouldn't be too hard. Right? Grandpa Hawkeye, wake up! He be here! Three, two, one, go! Jump him! Bag him up! Ha ha! Got ye, landlubber! We ain't no chicken! Haul him aboard! He be sleeping with the fishes tonight! What? Bosun? Where is he gonna find a bed underwater? Wait, which one of you grabbed the treasure? Ah, good question. Well, go back and fetch it, you numbskulls! <laughs> oh, if only the bosun would read the message from Captain Overboard. 
What be this? What? The captain, he be, he be alive? And the dog, he, he were, he were supposed to, to, to fetch the treasure to us. And what did we do to him? What did we do? What did we do? We have to, we have to release him immediately and, and apologize to him. Mr. Uh. Rexio, I would like to, um, to formally apologize to ye on behalf of the entire crew for, um, ye know, Bravo. the misunderstanding Rexio, about the treasure. Huh? In, um, in addition, we would like to reassure ye that we intend to depart post-haste in order to find our late, uh, nay, Bottoms nay, up, matey. our Rexio, beloved Capanovar board. And then... We set course straight for the Lonely Egg Orphanage. With the money obtained by selling our treasure to coin collectors, we shall fund the acquisition of a new incubator. Yes. Just as the good captain would have wanted. Nay, as he wants us to do. That be all. Ahoy! And who knows where the winds will guide us henceforth. And that was the story of how Rexio the brave dog helped the pirates find the treasure and their missing captain overboard. As you can see, everyone was very happy. The pirates got their captain back. Johnny, ye scallywag! At rest, I relieve ye of command. Captain! Ye you must be still Ye crusty sealer You're gonna lift the I whole see ship one day. taking ye yet. Ye too, Decker. Not yet, Been keeping captain. our home Not all shipshape, I see. Oh, my captain! And so, the, the captain donated the treasure the to the treasure. Lonely Egg Orphanage as planned. The, the chickens rejoiced even more so than the pirates, for it looked like the pirates had sailed off to new adventures and would leave them alone from now on. Rexio was delighted with the new sailboard the chickens gifted him, and with it, he was finally able to return home. And whoever that mole was, he too was overjoyed, since now, with all that said and done, there would be no one to bother him at inopportune moments. And it would have been happily ever after, were it not for... Where did the chickens go? Who is the diabolical frog? And why is the space egg rotten? You'll find all that out and more in the next adventure of Rexio. I can't believe it! Me, 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 me.